Well, I really thought this was going to grab the nation. <laughs> did you feel like you had to defend it then? Yeah, I did, actually. And I did defend it a lot. Yeah. Did, were you defending the writer, who's your mate? Were you defending the character or what? No, it was the whole thing. I just... people, A lot of people just did not like the whole thing. They found it very offensive and that we were going back 20 years and... I think there was a real, you know, all this political correctness that happened, you know, I blame your mob for that. <laughs> <clears throat> the Ben Eltons and all your generation. And because she is a lot older than me. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, I think it was great and it had its place, but I also felt it did a lot of harm and that it was all, oh, God, is this funny? And it's, but it's to it's do with fashion rude. as much as anything. Yeah. It wasn't fashionable yeah. to have something like that. It would be now, I think. Yeah. Because it would be sort of retro. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I've got my picture in yeah. my book. Yeah. Is of that character. The lovely Lindy. Yeah. Yeah. I love that character. Yeah. I absolutely loved it because I just thought it was mad. Yeah. I thought that was one of the biggest risks you took. Yeah, I suppose. Was yeah. to do something very big like that because you were definitely yeah. going to make some enemies. Absolutely. But I think maybe that's why I did it. Yeah. Mm. Do you think that it's cool and attractive to be funny? Um. I think so, yeah. Did you watch stand-ups and think, think it was a bit... A bit sexy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sort of... Yeah, I mean... It's weird, though, I think, because of being a little girl and being so in love with Eric Malcolm, that I've never met a man that's as funny or as beautiful as him. Do you know what I mean? Like, the impression that you got of him on the telly and stuff. So, um... Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, I, yeah, I do find funny men very, very attractive. Could you be in a relationship with someone that wasn't funny? No. I don't think so. No, it's very difficult, isn't it? No. I know that I've always been sort of really sort of turned by people when they do really make me laugh, do you know what I mean? Then it's like, you know... and then, But then that could be dangerous, cos they can be the biggest wanker you've ever met in your life, but they're, they're making you laugh and, you know... It is a bit dangerous. I don't know whether it's different for women than for men. Yeah. You know, because um, a lot of men don't like women to be funny. Well, why is that, do you think? Because they just want us to suck their cocks and... <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like... No, no, no. And not in a funny way. Get your laughing gear around. Because oh, I've tried to do jokes in that particular instance and do blowing instead right. of sucking, uh, but they... They, right. they can't see the gag in it. No, no. Or well, just use it as a microphone. <laughs> I've done that. I've done karaoke. Yeah. Anyway, too much detail. <laughs> but I think you're right. I mean, I remember mm. when I was a teenager that, I, you know, it's it great. I felt really powerful being able to make all my mates laugh. Mm. But you didn't get the boy, possibly, at the you end of the You never got the boyfriend. I mean, they, do you remember when they used to do uh, little t charts? Um, tick for who you... The girls would go around with a list for the boys. Who do you want to kiss the most? Who do you fancy? Who do you love? Who's got the nice personality, the best personality? And I'd always get nine out of ten for personality, but I'd never be ticked for wanting to kiss or anything like that. And so know. do you think being funny puts them off? Simple as that. That's disappointing. Yeah, that's I don't know. True. That's yeah. really upsetting. I don't know, but then there are other funny women out there that, you know, that, that are all right and always got the boys as well. I mean, you did all right. I did you? all right. I did all right, them. but I, early on, I learned some tricks about don't be too funny. Right. And if there's a bloke in the group, mm. just let him have his moment, even though it's not very funny. I never did that, doing. you see. I know, I was being a bit of a minx, but I knew that was the way, the way round it, that you would get a snog oh. if you allowed a bloke to tell the biggest, funniest joke of the night or give him a big old laugh when see. it wasn't that funny. I know, it was horrible. Yeah, I, I regret know. that, but I did get a snog up. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm shaking my head thinking, I wish I'd known you then to take that advice. <laughs> I'm like, No, but it's not a good thing, because it's dishonest. No, at least you got kissed. Yeah, but I want to end up with a bloke, and I think I have, luckily, but I want to end up with a bloke who thinks you are the funniest thing, yeah. and it's still all right to give you a yeah. snog up. Yeah, that's And not true. to feel threatened by it, you know, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. I think a lot of women, a lot of women we know, mm. are the toppest birds you can think of, mm. but it's that having great brains, mm. and especially great comedy brains, yeah. that is really tricky for them when it comes to making a relationship, and I'm really confused by that. Yeah... I just thought it was because I was it. ugly. I didn't really... <laughs> it's not to do with that. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's to do with power, I mm. think. And I think being funny gives you a bit of power. Right. And I think, I think other women find it hard sometimes, too, yeah. not just men. Yeah. Do you like to be in the company of comics? Do you seek that out ever? 
I remember when I was doing Edinburgh, thinking at the time, I can't wait to get back to just doing a normal play with normal actors. Because what I didn't like was the, um, the sort of rivalry. And you sat with a load of comics, you know. I just couldn't say that I liked anybody without being told, oh, yeah, but they nicked half their stuff off me from Edinburgh, you know, 79. And Do you know what I mean? And I just sort of thought, oh, God, everyone's so fucking negative all the time. And Do you know what I mean? And it's like killing your buzz and bursting your bubble. Of, you know, you, it's like you're not really allowed to enjoy anybody, you know. Who do you think, out of this present gang, who makes you laugh the most? Catherine Tate, I actually quite adore. The Nan character is, to me, the best um, comic creation I think has been on the telly for years. Um, no disrespect. No, no, me. absolutely. Um, and I love Julia Davis. I think she's pretty incredible. And she's I, a writer as well, isn't absolutely. she? Absolutely. Like and that's great. There's a real surge now of people writing their own stuff and, and being allowed to, you know what I mean? Um, I really, really miss Carolina Hearn being on the telly. Me too. I really miss it, and I want her back. But Caroline is allowed to live her own life. She brings joy to my heart in the way Eric Morecambe used to. So what about any um, women from, you know... Yeah. Days gone by. From when we were little. Yeah. Um, well, the obvious ones, really. Um, Irene Handel, who I just adored and loved, and anything she was on, I would just make sure I was watching movies. Um, in fact, I remember we were doing an episode of Gimme Gimme once, and I had a very dirty line to say, and I couldn't say it because I kept on imagining Irene Handel saying it and thinking she would have said it so much better than I ever can. That I just kept on giggling because, and nobody understood what I meant. Was that why, it was like, why are you laughing? Why can't you get it together? And it was like because every time I'm just about to say the line, I imagine Irene Handel saying the line, and um, and her timing, and and her characterisation, everything was just always brilliant. She never ever disappointed me. So I loved her. I loved Joyce Grenfell because she did was you? just. I did. I loved her because she was in all the old uh, Centurion films and stuff like that, and. Uh, I loved her sort of poshness and um, her sort of, you know... She reminds me a little bit, not at all looks, anything like that, but she's a bit like Celia Rimmery in that way that she... Everything's very positive. There was always looking at the good side of things, do you know what I mean? And um, so I absolutely adored her and I loved Beryl Reed. Yeah. I thought Beryl Reed was fantastic and I loved the fact that every now and again late night film, you know what I mean, that she'd be in something a little bit dark and a little bit odd, you know, like The Killing of Sister George, and suddenly you'd see her in a bit of a dirty film and it was all a bit odd. Yeah. One other question. Do, do people ever thank you for making them laugh? Yeah. Do you get embarrassed about that or are you pleased about that? I used to get embarrassed, but I've learned to be a bit more gracious and, and be quite pleased about it, really. I mean, yeah, it's lovely to be thanked and... Cab drivers, you know what I mean? Thank you for all the fun you've given us over the years and, like, you're welcome. I'm much more gracious now rather than, you know... I'm a serious fucking actress and that, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's just about you just say, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you for yeah, being don't... kind enough to say thank you. Yeah. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. No, thank you, more. <laughs> Charlie Brooker turns his corrosive wit onto TV news with Screenwipe next on BBC4. Then a Sicilian film director sabotages a wedding when he falls in love with the bride. The wedding director at 10. Mm -hmm.